Oxford, Miss Jane Buffett was also there. And Jimmy was Jimmy was cooking and he made some of the most delicious duck I've ever had. The flavors were so strong they were able to break through the insane amount of cocaine that we had done. <laughs> Aspen in the 80s, <laughs> or 90s, or <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy was a great host, but he was an even better friend. He was. He always made sure that everyone was having the best possible time. He lit up the room with his stories, some of them fact and. Most of them fiction. And he turned those stories into best selling books. So I want to read a little excerpt for you about our friend Jimmy. And bear with me, I got to get through this. I've been called a lot of things in these 50 years on this good old earth. But the thing I, I am the most is lucky. I have always looked at life as a voyage, mostly wonderful, sometimes frightening. In my family and friends, I've discovered treasures more valuable than gold. I have seen and done things that I read about as a kid. I have dodged many storms and bounced across the bottom on occasion. But so far, Lady Luck and the stars by which I steer have kept me off the rocks. I paid attention when I had to, and I have made more right tacks than wrong ones to end up in this moment with a thousand ports of call behind me, and I hope a thousand more to see. I was honored to dock in a lot of those ports with my friend Jimmy Buffett. And now, I want you to join me in welcoming to the stage a bunch of guys that we used to hang out with back in the day. You might have heard of them. They're just rock legends. Bring on the Eagles!